Now, before I do a quick unboxing of this camera, I wanna see if you guys can guess what I purchased. Most of you would know what Leicas I own, and I wanna see if you can guess which model Leica I purchased. This is the current model. That's the only hint I'm gonna give you. Put it down below in the comment section, see if you can guess it right. And I also wanna mention the store that I purchased this from. They don't know I mentioned them, they haven't asked me to mention them at all. I purchased this from rangefinder.com.hk. I put a link to this store down below in the description. Probably the best service I've ever had online, and also probably the best prices you'll ever find online for Leica gear, and they ship worldwide. I've actually bought quite a bit of gear from them, and this one came from them, it was with me in a few days, from Hong Kong all the way down here in New Zealand. That's it, so let's get to unboxing this camera because I've never seen one of these in person, so it's gonna be quite interesting. Obviously it comes in this brown box that most Locus camera come in. I wonder if you guys can actually guess what it is. Gotta be careful when I open this, but I don't want you to see just yet of what it is. So. Unboxing a Leica camera is an experience in its own. Now, I'm gonna keep it face towards me at the moment. Gotta build up the suspense. Hang on. Never the easiest to open. Now, when you open one of these, it opens like that. It's kind of like a jewelry box, to be truthful. Let's put that out of the way. So, there you go. Now you open it like that, and the top part is always the camera. And then you have these two drawers. I'm gonna move this off to the side so it doesn't block me too much. You have a top drawer, and you have a bottom drawer. Now the top drawer is normally documentation for the camera. Again, I've never opened one of these cameras. I've never actually owned one of these cameras. Let's unbox these two quickly, and then you'll get an idea of what the actual camera is. So those are the accessories you get. You'll get this is, oh, okay, this is probably gonna give away straight away what this camera is. This is a metal ring that goes, let's see if I can get that camera to focus on it because I'm using a different camera. Anyway. That's a metal ring that goes on the front of the lens. Okay, in there we have the standard Leica lever. I'm gonna try and get that camera to focus. I have a cable in front of it at the moment. So there, you got your standard lever Next strap, you can be able to guess what this camera is now. So in here is the battery charger. This is the battery charger. Okay. Now there's only two models that I can think of that use this battery and this battery charger. And I've probably given it away with that lens ring there. But I wonder if you can guess what model it is. And there's the battery. Okay, there's your Leica battery. Now I actually have another one which I purchased. I have another one which I purchased. So I have two batteries for this camera. And they're not cheap. Like 300 and something dollars for a battery. It's insane. So, and then you've got your documentation. You got a free months membership to Adobe Lightroom and Photoshop. I'm gonna move those two out of the way so you can't see what it is at the moment. Uh, you've got International Leica Society and you've also got your warranty card and who inspected the camera. So, let's open the box up and take out the camera. So I have purchased the Leica Q2 monochrome there it is the q2 monochrome now a couple of reasons on why i bought the q2 monochrome firstly i own the m10p which is a colored sensor the leica q2 monochrome is a black and white sensor so i think these two will complement each other plus i don't really need another colored sensor like a camera to be truthful that's why i went with the monochrome plus i'm starting a project later in the year a personal project in taiwan and this camera will be used for that project so I will talk more about that project later on, but it's something quite unique that I wanna do in Taiwan, mainly in Taipei, and the Q2 monochrome is gonna be the perfect camera for it. Now, before anybody asks, no, I'm not gonna to upgrade to the M11. I have no reason to upgrade to the M11. The M10P 
is everything I need in a Leica M digital camera. I don't need 60 megapixels. The battery is quite unique on this camera. It goes in like that, and it's actually part of the bottom of the camera. Now to take it out, you flick the switch and then you have to flex back in and pull it out. This is a 28 mil, which happens to be my favorite focal length. It is an F1.7 Sumalux lens. Now this has autofocus. My M cameras don't have autofocus. It has a macro mode, and it also has this port at the bottom, which you just click, and you can go into full manual mode if you want. It's an incredibly good lens. Now I've owned the Q, the QP, and a silver Q. And for a 24 megapixel sensor, the lens was outstanding. So it'd be interesting to see how good this lens is with such a high resolution sensor as on the monochrome, which is a 47 megapixel. Now, because this is a monochrome sensor, it is actually sharper than the colored sensor, which is in the standard Q. So I'm looking forward to testing that as well. So that's basically it for this video. Just a quick unboxing to see if you guys can guess what I've purchased. To let you know, in a few days, there will be another video with some samples for you to download, and I give you my first impressions of shooting this camera for the first time. And also, please check out the guys over at rangefinder.com.hk. I'll put a link to their website down below in the description. An amazing company to deal with, incredibly good service, and fast shipping worldwide as well. So that's it for this video. I really hope you guys have enjoyed it, and as always, thank you so much for watching.